all right guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to look at the top five highest paying jobs in the tech industry so we're going to start with number five which is devops engineer so what is devops dev stands for software development and then ops stands for it operations so now when you work as a devops engineer basically you are a bridge between software development and it operations and these guys basically they are responsible for accelerating software and services to users or customers and to be able to work as a devops you need to study things like uh, kubernetes or docker certification also aws devops certification or microsoft devops certification now those are some of the certifications that you can do to get into the industry and work as a devops engineer now let's go to number four so at number four we have cyber security now the cyber security is very important as you know that uh, cyber attacks have been on the increase a lot of companies they want to protect their data as you know that data is very important data is king no company can operate without data they make decisions based on data so they need cyber security analysts to be able to protect their data so these jobs are very in demand so it's very important that you go and learn certifications that are related to the cyber security industry if you want to get into this industry some of those certifications that you can go and learn are cissp comtia security plus or ceh if you want to be a certified ethical hacker now cyber security is growing very much and now that there is ai there's a lot of attacks which are based on ai these attacks are automated so AI is not going to take away jobs in the cyber security industry. In fact, it will create more jobs because there will be a lot more attacks which are based on AI. Now let's go to number three. At number three, we have a cloud solutions architect. Now a cloud solutions architect is very, uh, very important job. Now remember that data flows on infrastructure. Now that infrastructure, a lot of the times is a cloud infrastructure because a lot of companies now are based remotely or are based in different geographical locations now for that data to flow from one location to another it must flow on the infrastructure and a lot of the times that infrastructure is based on cloud infrastructure now cloud platforms are things like azure or aws so to be able to work as a cloud solutions architect that means you'll be responsible for designing that cloud infrastructure network for that data flow now to be able to work as someone who's a cloud solutions architect you need to go and study azure certifications azure solutions architect or aws solutions architect also google that does have certifications which are related to cloud solutions architect now let's move on to number two at number two we have a data scientist now remember that data is king but when data is raw and unstructured, it doesn't make sense to a lot of business users. Now, data scientists, that's where they come in. They will formulate that data so that it makes sense. They'll bring it together and then they'll make that data structured so that it becomes easier for business leaders to be able to read that data, to see insights based on that data, and it will help them to make business decisions that will help them to achieve the business goals. Now, to become a data scientist, you can go and study certifications like IBM Data Science or Microsoft Data Scientist certifications. Now, those are some of the certifications that you can do if you wanna become a data scientist, but there's a lot more companies that offer certifications when it comes to data science. Now, let's move on to number one, which is one of the highest paying tech roles in the tech industry right now. And that is artificial intelligence, AI. AI is a very trending topic right now. I don't know if you've watched the news lately. Now the CEO of Meta, Mark Zuckerberg, he's also on a head hunting spree, right? He's head hunted some workers who are working for open, AI, open AI. So those guys were responsible for AI in uh, uh, ChatGPT and OpenAI. 
So Mark Zuckerberg went out there to headhunt those guys. He offered them multi-million dollar salary contracts. So AI is a trending topic and a lot of companies, they're looking for skilled people when it comes to AI. So AI is going to grow, continue growing and further and further. So right now we have uh, GPT-5. In a few months, we're probably going to have a new one, GPT-6. In a few months of that, after that, we're going to have another one, GPT-7. So this is not going to stop anytime soon. It's going to keep on growing and evolving. And a lot of companies, they're looking for people who are going to help them become uh, leaders when it comes to AI. And they do offer a lot of money when it comes to AI. Now, when it comes to certifications, some of the certifications that you can study in terms of AI is uh, IBM AI certifications and uh, AWS machine learning certifications, Microsoft AI certifications and machine learning. Now, those are some of the certifications that you can go and study if you want to understand artificial intelligence. And then you can have an opportunity to work in the industry. Now, certifications alone will not help you get a job. You need the skills as well. There's a lot of different platforms that you can go and use online to get your practical skills so that you become more valuable and then you can get yourself into the industry. So go and look at all these online platforms that you can use for practical skills. And then along with your certification, then you have a better chance of getting into the industry and then you can get one of these high salaries. So those are the top five highest tech careers that you can find or that you can get a high salary in, in the year 2025. So I hope this information will help or help some of you to get into the industry. And then you might be one of those employees who will get those high salaries. Now, before you go, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe it will help this channel to grow and uh, thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next video